flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Terry's move. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And this video right here is going to be about the mind is an awareness that don't change or refuse to change in some magnitude. Now, I'm doing this video right here because a lot of my knowledge get lost into the sauce due to the fact of my live streams and my live streams be about other topics. But for the most part, me just chopping it up and doing videos specifically towards certain things that need to be put out there um, is... What's the whole purpose of me going through my live stream and, you know, going through certain things and presenting pre-recorded videos for it? So, for the most part, this one right here is going to be about the mind is an awareness that don't change. So, when you think about the chakras or when you think about your zodiac, your alignments, and things of that nature, these are awarenesses that you are familiar with. And anything that you are familiar with plays out as a routine and pattern. And anything that plays out as a routine and pattern... Start to lower your spirit down into your animalistic natures. And once you start to obtain or attach yourself to your animalistic natures, these are characteristics or personalities that you rather see yourself and you don't want to see yourself in any other kind of way. So it becomes your portion of the I, your portion of your individuality within a certain spectrum, within a certain awareness. And within that awareness, once you have a fixated point, that's your starting point within that awareness. And anytime you jump into that mind, that mental state, your mental state, your mind have two sides to it, masculine and feminine. And then that allows you to see the both sides and see yourself within that arena that you are in as far as a form of awareness. Now, awareness is a little bit more powerful, not a little bit, but it is more powerful than the mind because awareness is what you use to create and develop the mind. So for the most part, awareness is a form of light. And anytime we are enlightened or more aware of our parameter or ourselves or the external aka other spirits doing the same thing this would allows us to b develop more awareness or more expansion right so the spirit expand and contracts and any form that the spirit create that is going to be inside of has a pulse all the way to your mind your mind has a pulse so keep that in mind also now here's the thing externalizing is experiencing going into a fire or future Contraction is going into the past or retracting or separating from something or going more within. Right. So for the most part, when we start to talk about levels of awareness, anytime you're doing that type of transition, you create fixed points. And these fixed points is for you to be familiar or to be aware of keyword yourself or whatever you have created as a form of awareness that you won't fixate it in that specific arena. And then for the most part, that that's what creates a mind. Now, spirits have been getting lost in their mind for eons. And it's how we're creating worlds based upon each one teach one because each spirit is right next to each other becoming aware of its own self. And that awareness is a form of light. And when all these awarenesses come together, it play out as forms of what becomes to be as stars or bodies of water or the nature or the realms of reality that we are experiencing that became dense now. So keep that in mind. Now. When you develop an awareness and get an awareness that's too fixated, aka you develop a mind, a mind is an awareness that don't change. So let's say you become aware of something and you don't want that awareness to change. So you have attached yourself to how you see that form of awareness. And then you use your fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional energy. Fourth dimensional, ability to think, square out the circle. Fifth dimensional, your ability to receive or you know, react and respond emotionally. And the sixth dimensional to bring those two things together and that play out as a form of whatever you're paying attention to and wherever energy is directed wherever intent is directed that's where the energy is going to be directed so for the most part your intentions is to pay attention to something then your thoughts and feelings that come together and develop into energy go into that force field now here's the thing right based upon what you are aware of Right? A lot of times you don't want to you don't want to be aware of anything else. So this could become a person who's stubborn or can't see anything that you're trying to present to them. So their, their lack of awareness is going to develop to the point that this person may lack understanding or lack the know-how. Or it could play out positively. Develop a know-how in an area way more sufficiently than another individual. But this could play out like a man or a woman, a mind frame for other individuals to be able to envision you even when you're not around physically. But you carry that attribute, that char that charismatic gift in some way, shape or form. So 
based upon how we got lost, the mind bends in on itself, aka light bends in on itself and develop into material. So based upon how we constructed our mind, we constructed this actual vehicle and these organs that we're utilizing from those chakras, those light bodies, those God or goddess bodies. So this kind of giving you an early stage of how we're creating forms and the forms that we create based upon our level of awareness using these forms. Let us know how intelligent we are or how not or how not intelligent we are as a spiritual group or a spiritual race. So for the most part, and it gives you the ability to understand there's more forms that spirits can take other than the form that you are in currently. So now you can kind of get into grading and percentage levels to know what kind of forms will have lo more levels of awareness and what kind of forms will have more levels of fear of detachment from it. You see what I'm saying? And this takes us into the physical and the metaphysical aspects of external externalizing. And forms we trap ourselves in as spirits, creating from the inside out, being based upon the spirit being no thing, aka no shape or no form, and it just being as is, your space. You being an observer. You see what I'm saying? So you being an observer, you are aware of a lot of things. Now, a lot of people would get confused into the light. So every time we find something that's invisible or undiscovered, we like to call that the spirit. So the spirit always has a name attached to it. Oh, the spirit is the Higgs boson or the spirit is consciousness or they're pointing to the uh, your soul is this, that, and the third. Where your spirit is you having an individual spirit, which is your space. You be an observer. So that's your solo spirit, which becomes your soul, right? So this makes you not just be all within all spirits. You are aware of your own individual spirit in some way, shape, or form. Now, people who get lost into these forms and calling it to light, the light, first thing they want to do now is call it consciousness or the mind, right? But here's the thing. When we start to talk about being aware, I'm spiritually wise enough to know that I'm aware of things that's not mine. So I'm also aware of things that I didn't create. And I'm also aware of other people's minds that have nothing to do with my mind. So that let me know, regardless of how I think or feel, masculine or feminine, with my two polar shifts of my mind, regardless of how I use my mind, awareness shows me things beyond my mind because I'm able to be aware of other minds and other objects and other things that goes beyond my mind. So for the most part, this lets you know that awareness is something that we're using to create the mind, not the other way around. And, sci and scientists and atheists are levels of degrees below in any form of knowledge if they're starting with the brain. It start with the spirit, your space, you be an observer. Your awareness is what creates the mind because you can have a choice. You don't have to have a mind in certain things. I could be aware without putting my two cents in whatever you had in mind. See what I'm saying? I'm just bringing it down to third dimensional circumstances for y'all to understand where I'm coming from so you know how to bring that to a larger percentage level on a macro scale when I'm starting to talk spiritually. So, for the most part, here's the thing, right? I can be aware of things that's not mine, so a mind must be something that I construct from my awareness. And when I get aware of something that I don't want to change, I could get depressed anytime it changes with the universe because we know nothing is constant but change. So anytime you develop a mind state, aka an awareness that don't change or you refuse to change, it could lead into your spirit believing you are that, aka that light, that form of yourself to represent yourself or that mind. And anytime that form you create as a character, don't reciprocate the energy or receive the energy or manifest the energy that you want from participating in it. And this leads into mental stress, jaw clouds, depression, and you feeling like the world is against you in some way, shape, or form. So this leads us to an early stage before Jewish literature into understanding our internal stages. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, me being Archangel Uriel, we can make more sense out of these things and understanding our spiritual natures before we get too lost into angels and demons. And those kind of concepts that Jewish literature bring. 
Because for the most part, now you know your level of awareness. Sometimes you attach and get fixated on a level of awareness and then you create your own monster and then sometimes you can't see yourself out of that mind state. And certain mind states that we refuse to change is the very thing that manifests bullshit in our lives. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. So when we start to talk about mind states, this is how you start to play with your light, play with your awareness, not not to get attached to certain mind states and how to use certain mind states for your benefit without allowing yourself to be put into a situation to get blood on your hands. So for the most part, here's the thing. We know it's, it's important for you to be in positions where you are able to, keyword, change your mind. See, you wouldn't be able to even speak like this to the in-depth, still coming out in the very same breath saying that you are your mind if you are observing the concept of you changing your mind so what you are observing the concept of you changing yourself you using that term changing yourself is just words that you're using to point to something that your spirit is doing because your spirit is no thing no shape or form and it's like a pandora box it really have no representation of itself but what it created for itself you see what i'm saying but just for the simple fact that you could sit here and change your mind, let you know that you itself ain't the mind. And a mind must be something that you're creating as far as your development of awarenesses. You see what I'm saying? And you might be fond of certain other awarenesses than other awarenesses. So you may refuse to pay attention to certain things and then always choose to pay attention to other things. And based upon this food for thought, because we eat stars, thoughts and feelings as a spirit, that's you fulfilling your space with all that bullshit to see if it's something that resonates with your water flow or not. A.K.A. are you going to manifest chaotic situations that you're out of control of? Or is you manifesting situations that you have full control over? And, and for the most well, you're not going to have full control over anything, over everything. But for the most part, you know, you have some sense of capacity of understanding, overstanding, and understanding the whole circumstance. So you don't start to feel misplaced in whatever that you have manifested within your life and your parameter. Now... So when we get into deep wisdom and knowledge, see, it's, all, it's, it's good to know knowledge, but it's good to have wisdom. We can learn about the mind and the brain and all this shit all day, but actually know how to internally travel, be a jester, be an adept yourself, be an adeptus yourself. Is you actually taking that and actually going through the experience as a form of wisdom to see what is true or what's not. And therefore, that's when you can bring these two things together together, and be the vessel or the representation of actually explaining it in the right way. So when we start to talk about levels of awareness, you know that you change your mind. You know that minds change. You know that frustration a lot of times comes from the starting point of a person's mind not changing. And we know when minds, when an awareness gets fixated, this can lead into two, spot, uh, two prospects, a.k.a. the Saturn energy, either stubbornness or consistency. Now, for the most part, based upon it ain't what we doing, it's how we do it. So, based upon us trying to maintain a certain mind or a position, if we're doing it positively, it could play out as consistency. If we're doing it negatively, it could play out as stubbornness. But for the most part, us trying to maintain a mind frame or a worldview, aka that'd be for the shadow government and what they're doing to rule the world with their fixated mind, will, will be like a light form in an esoteric world. That everybody is constantly following and getting trapped in in some way, shape, or form within their magic square. But at the same time, like I said, if you understand how to use the mind, now you, you, you know how to separate yourself so the mind don't lead you into a desert, designated area or an area that has no outlet in the esoteric world. Because I told y'all, your mind is your spaceship. So it's something that you jump in and fly. So before you think that you are the spaceship, before you think that you are the car, before you think that you are the thing that you're traveling in, this is why a lot of times you crash in your life, a.k.a. manifest circumstances and situations that's out of your favor when you should have just sat your ass down and realized that you are not these material things that you're creating on an esoteric level. All the way down to these light forms that we're creating for ourselves manifest into these physical things and things that we see in nature. You see what I'm saying? Just like when you're Drinking water, washing your ass. You're drinking a star, you you washing your ass in a star. 
know what I'm saying? Your body is made out of 70, what, 80% star. You know what I'm saying? Stars are water in this motherfucker shit. So if it's, that's a form of consciousness being developed down here that you can actually see from being externalized from internally, then I let you know the mind is what's creating the world. And if we're all here and we all have a mind, then it must be teamwork makes the dream work. But what is you doing with your mind? And a mind is a terrible thing to waste. So for the most part, always keep this in mind. A mind is an awareness that don't change or refuse to change. But in the universe, ain't nothing constant but change. So what are you doing with your mind if you're not if you don't have the ability to change? Is you being a devil? Is you being a Lucifer? Is you being a demon? And demons love being called God. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. You better believe it. I feel better. We're going in tonight. Let me finish these readings.